What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, I am Aditya Mulukuri, the host for Tats Podcast, the great feature for your bright future. We all know stock market is a vast subject. It takes some long time to understand clearly. I was learning this from 3 to 4 months. I have still I still have a lot of confusion. So for this episode, I am just giving you a brief explanation of stock market. So let's learn first let's understand in short a share means literally a share of company example company has 100 shares i mean 100 percent of company if you own 20 shares means you own 20 percent of the company this is why majority shareholder who owns above or 51 percent of total shares can take big decisions because he owns most of the company so share means a share in company you cannot always by big firms so what you do you divide them in small equal amounts known as shares and buy them the profits are also same way divides in amount of shares as they are equal to you in small amounts also known as dividend so example 100 there are 100 shares in abc company you have 20 shares and you are one uh, and you are 20 percent owner you have 20% stake or you contributed 20% of the capital of capital of company. So if profit is rupees 120 for ABC company, it decides to use profit in 20 rupees for fa- new factory, 10 rupees for uplo- upgrading old plant, 10 rupees for repaying debt. Remaining 80 rupees will be divided by, ru- by 100 as company has 100 shares. So 80 rupees if divides into 100 shares will make rupees 0.8 will be paid for one share own so you have 20 shares you get 16 rupees as dividend on 20 shares hope it was understand it now this one was aspect now what about price of rupees uh, so what about the price of one share prices are determined by completely different way prices of shares companies are determined by market sentiment Meaning, if people think a particular company will grow much high, they are ready to pay more than the share's actual price. Also, as company rises, so does share value change. Example, ABC company has 100 shares worth Rs 100 in total, meaning 1 share equals to 1 rupees. If company ends continuously and gets profit and expands to a business, so with, with its valuation. Meaning, if I have 10 factories where 1 factory worth rupees 10 making my company 10 100 rupees valuation as discussed above if i add two more factories of rupees 10 each meaning 10 plus two factories which is 120 rupees we started from 100 rupees value of firm and grew to 120 total value of firm so there is rupees 20 hike in total firm value meaning that 100 shares will get 0.8 percent rise in the value why because if you have 100 shares of 100 rupees and your company grows and becomes 120 rupees then share price raises not number of shares hence this is the way share prices go up and down if firms deal in losses and has sell rupee sell one factory out of 10 then rupees 100 valuation goes to rupees 90 hence rupees 90 has to be divided into 100 shares reducing in depreciation of share price there are basic reasons now what if i think that a company will grow and only grow in long term and its shares are only limited example abc company has a bright future but limited hundred number of shares worth rupees one each now as i know the prices of share will rise and and the company ends profit i will be ready to pay higher price for purchasing a share than its value i will offer rupees two for one one number of share worth only one rupee meaning the price of one share rose to double the amount because of my sentiment and positivity or pessimistic approach towards the business and here state starts real market both the financial and profit cap- capacity or expansion of business sentiment plays role in shade plays movement environment that has to read in detail like if government is making many roads meaning companies market road will end high revenue and maybe profit so if we end profit you contribute in expansion of firm 
which inflate inflates the share price to all give dividend to shareholder making it an attractive stock hence understand the stock market in a holistic manner and read about it so this is today's episode hope i conveyed some value added content to you i will be back with another, some other stock market episodes within soon thank you for listening i am aditya mulukuri the host for tats podcast signing off peace